Hello and welcome back to Trading with CJ. Now on this channel I have a Investing for Beginners series where we cover what stocks are, what dividends are and why now is a perfect time to invest. I wanted to make this video today to be more specific to how to actually start investing. So this video is for anybody who doesn't know how to start or thinks it's a complicated process. In terms of actually buying stocks and shares in the current day and age, it couldn't be more simple. So let's say you wanted to buy some trainers or some clothing, etc. You could go to an online website, search around for what trainers you liked, and then once you found what you liked, you'd add it to your cart, pay for the item, check out, and then that's that. Then you'd have to wait for the delivery. Whereas it's not much different in terms of how to actually buy stocks. You have an online apps and online platforms these days. You go onto that, you search, type in what stock you like, what company you like, search for it, add it to, basically you're not even add it to a basket, you just press buy, and then within a matter of seconds, you own that stock. So it's actually quicker probably than buying you know, any items these days. You haven't got to wait for delivery. That's the physical process to how to actually buy stocks. Now there is of course a mental process that needs to be taken into account and that's the bit that can get a bit more in depth. You don't just want to randomly put your money into a company. You want to make sure that you are investing into companies that you've done research on, that are good quality, you like their fundamentals, you like their growth etc. Because at the end of the day, this is real money that you're investing. So let's take um, another example here, car insurance. If you were buying car insurance, you wouldn't just pick the first car insurance that you saw. You would do a bit of research. You would try to find ones that are cheaper prices, ones that have a time limit that you, you like, ones that have uh, good benefits to you. You would do more research, and once you found the one you like, you would then buy it. So that is no different to investing. If you like a company, you do your research on it, and you look around, and if it's something that you like, you like their fundamentals, their growth, then the actual process to invest in and owning shares into this company is very simple. And that's the part we're gonna cover in this video. Now I'm gonna go through from scratch and within minutes or even seconds, you could be owning your own stock. Now, I just wanna say that I'm not a financial advisor and everything you see in this video is purely for entertainment purposes. You should always do your own research when investing into the stock market. So, let's get into it. So let's say that you've done your research, you've done the mental part of it, and you know what company you like, what company you wanna invest into. So how do we go about actually buying this stock? Well, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to pick a stock brokerage or an investment platform. Now there are hundreds that you can choose from. I'm just gonna put a few different options up here. Now these ones are US um, investment platforms. So we've got Robinhood, M1 Finance, and Webull. All of these free, you can just download an app on your phone and you can start investing. They're US stock brokerage platforms and they're very easy to navigate. And I'm gonna put some UK ones up here as well now. So the first one here is Hargreaves Lansdowne. Then we've got Trading212 and Free Trade. Once again, three popular UK trading platforms, all very easy to use. So that's just three UK trading platforms there. and. There's obviously differences and benefits with each of these. Just to give you an example, I'm just gonna compare the UK one. So let's take Hargreaves Lansdowne, for example. It's, it's the oldest one out of all of these. It's been around the longest, and it, prob it offers the most amount of ETFs and stocks. However, it does charge you about 13 pounds or so per investment. So if you're an investor just starting out, that probably isn't the best option for you. Whereas if we look at a company like Free Trade, it's the newest platform out of all of these. It probably has the least amount of stocks and ETFs, but it is free to actually trade. And then Trading212 kind of offers um, the best of both worlds. It has a lot of stocks and ETFs, and it's free to trade. So it's important to pick the right platform for you. And as my personal um, opinion, if you are starting out, I would say definitely pick one of the free trading options, either Trading212 or Free Trade, because you don't want to be eating into any profits if you're just starting out. It's really worth mentioning, I have done a review actually on Trading212 and Free Trade. So if you wanna check out my reviews, I go a lot more in depth. You should see me walk through the app on the, on the video. I'll leave that in the link in the description below. Check those out. Also with these two, if you are planning on signing up, if you use my referral link, 
you and myself for transparency will get a free share worth up to 100 pounds so i'll leave that in the link down below and if you want to use free trade message me and i'll send you a link for that as well so for the purposes of this section i'm going to be using trading 212 now no matter what app or investment platform you use it's the same process for all of this so if you want to use the app like i say you can use a link my referral link in the description below or you can use one from elsewhere so you click the link and then you download the app to your phone now you're going to get asked when you sign up general questions of your date of birth your name your address etc standard then you're going to get asked some more financial questions so questions like um, what's your salary it's going to give you a bracket so it could be 10 to 20 grand or 21 to 30 grand etc you just pick which salary you have or which salary best suits you and then there'll be other questions such as source of deposit. So this will be a uh, source of deposit such as salary, savings, are you borrowing money, I don't know, etc. Obviously, the reason for this is it wants to check that you're eligible to have this account. You know, if you're putting down that you're unemployed and you're borrowing money to, to use this account, your chances of being accepted is probably is probably very slim. I mean, I don't know anyone who hasn't personally been accepted, but I also don't know anybody who has put down those answers to those options so that's something to bear in mind then it's going to ask you this is something that people always question but it asks you your national insurance well of course it's going to ask you your national insurance because it wants to make sure that you are eligible for this app that you you're paying national that you have national insurance that you're a uk citizen etc so it's just no different from creating a bank account you know it's going to ask you these questions when creating a bank account is security procedure and you after all you are investing real money so in general, I found that it doesn't take long at all to be approved and to have your account ready. For me, within a few minutes, I've had a confirmation email come through and I'm ready to start using my account. And that's kind of the same for my experience with pretty much all of these apps. Um, you, sometimes it might take a bit longer, a day or two, whatever, but generally it's a very quick process. Now with Trading212, there is also a practice account option. So once you have your account and stuff, you can just use a practice account option to get familiar with how the um, app works etc so i'm going to show you exactly how simple it is now to buy a stock as i've already said don't just randomly invest into a stock make sure you've done your research because at the end of the day this is real money so for the purposes of this as an example i'm going to invest into netflix so i'll literally type in um, net and it will come up straight away top one up on the list i press it I can see the current share price. It's quite, it's quite an expensive stock at Netflix. Um, obviously, yeah, loads of cheaper ones, but that's just what I'm choosing for this example. And I'm going to just buy one share. So I press buy, and I press one. If I want to do cheaper, I can buy half a share, I can buy a fractional share. I just scroll this along to the price that I'm looking at. But I'm just going to buy one share. So I press buy one, and I press buy review order, and there we go. Now, any minute now, you'll see this come up on the screen, order executed. That, just to show you how quick it takes. Not all platforms are this quick, but I'm using Trading212 here. This is the speed this takes. And my experience with quite a few others is it's generally pretty quick as well. So now, that's it. I now own one share of Netflix. I own a very, very small amount of Netflix. There are obviously millions and millions of shares out there. But nevertheless, I own part of Netflix. Let's say the company is booming and doing amazingly. That means my price, my investment will also be going up. If the share price is going down and there's been a disaster, something bad's happened, then my money will go down as well. And worst case scenario, the company goes bankrupt. That means I lose my investment. So it's important to always make sure you're investing into good quality companies that you've done your research on. And if you have, then there is massive profits that can be made. I should mention as well that some investment platforms, like I said earlier, do charge fees. So check around, make sure they're not charging fees. Trading212 as used here and free trade do not charge fees per transaction. However, like most uh, transactions, there is a stamp duty on UK stocks, a very, very small amount which won't affect you at all. And if you're buying US stocks, it's important to bear in mind, obviously, the currency exchange. If the currency exchange rate is higher today, and lower tomorrow you can make sure you're bearing that in mind when investing into stocks so like you say there the research is really the main important thing but in terms of actually buying the stocks and the physical process to that you can see how simple it really is 
So thanks for watching. And if you found this useful or interesting, please hit the like and subscribe button. It is really appreciated. Also check out some of my other videos on my channel. I have a whole series on investing for beginners. Thanks for watching and until next time,